It's my pleasure today to be talking with three very special young people. They're known as MKs by some of us, missionary kids. This young man here, Josiah, how old are you, my friend? Six. Six? And Nathan? I'm 14. 14. And Joel? 16. 16. Now, these three young people belong to the Griswold family. Their parents are missionaries in Thailand, running the Global Mission Study Center for Buddhism. Now, in your entire lives, how long have you lived in North America? About three and a half years. Three and a half years. And you, Nathan? Same? Yeah, the same. And what about you? What? How long have you lived in America? Not at all, huh? You've lived your entire life in the country of? Thailand. 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 Now tell me, when you come back to the United States for a brief period of time, do you have any homesickness for Thailand? Sometimes, but we've been there so long in the year and it's nice to come back to our, our, our foundations. Yeah, where your family comes from. Families. Yeah. How about you, Joel? I like it for about two and a half weeks and then I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, which is Thailand. Yeah. Now, do you speak any of the local language? Yeah, we do. Okay. Say a few words in Thai for me, Joel. What did she say, Nathan? She said it's very hot out. That's true. <laughs> now, when you are in Thailand, you see the work your parents are doing. Do you get involved at all in what they are doing? Yeah. Yes, quite tell a me, bit. Tell me how. Sometimes we help with church service and we, out, we go out in the, in, the, in the town and do Bible studies. Okay, Joel? I helped teach an English class. Wow. Yeah. Now, can you give me a, tell me a short story, a brief experience of how you've been able to touch somebody's lives or through your family? Well, we helped save a drunkard once when he was riding his bike and he fell over into the lake. And my dad fell, jumped into the water and pulled him out and we saved his life and we started having Bible studies with him. Wow. That's great. Now, when, um, when you're in your home, I understand you pray a lot and you've seen experiences of the battle between good and evil. Can you share some of that? Well, we used to, we used to have lots of poisonous snakes where we live and that was, we could tell it was from the enemy because he did not want us to witness to the people and we prayed to God and we took out, there was an evil spirit house where they would worship Buddha and the spirits. And this, this was in the, on the property of your home? Yes, right. yes. And we, we asked them to take it out and they decided to take it out and all the snakes went away. Wow. Yes, it was very, very... So good. Josiah, have you seen any snakes in your yard? Yes, many. You've seen many of them. Now, there was one experience with your mother where she almost stepped on one, right? Yes. She was preparing a talk for an evangelistic series, and it just seemed like Satan didn't want her to finish the talk, and she got up from her hammock where she was preparing, and Nick Josiah had brought her shoes, and she was barefoot, and if she had stepped on this poisonous green viper, she could have died. But thankfully, she stepped on its head with a shoe on, so God protected her. Wow. Nathan, what's the best thing about being in a missionary family? Well, it's nice to learn a new language, but it also has some things that are hard because you can't, you, you can't really, they're so different than you, their culture, everything, and you're used to a different culture and it's sometimes hard to connect with the Thai people. Right. Yes. What's the, the best thing for you, Joel? Well, I enjoy meeting a lot of new people and seeing their fakes just just shine when we tell them about Jesus for the first time. It's really rewarding. I'm sure it is. Now, young men, what do you like most about living in Thailand? Because my friends are there and got animals, which are my best friends. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Viewers around the world who are watching this, we have many, many missionary families who require your prayers. God is using them. They have many challenges. They have many opportunities. They have times when they feel lonely, when they feel as if they're not sure which way to move forward. It can be difficult, but God is with them. And thank you so much for your continuing pr pr prayers, your financial support, and your involvement in the mission of this church.